Over here, I've got a Gollum Jade, Crushula Avata, uh, also known as the Shrek's Ear, some people call them. This little show in style has been growing in this pot for seven years. It's there's my, my pruning shears. It's pretty much just as long as my pruning shears. So I've always just kept it low like this. I don't want it to grow much bigger. To give you an idea, I've taken a cutting off over there two years ago. So, so this was grown from a cutting seven years ago that was about that size over there and the cutting this is just the just want to show the the awesomeness of bonsai that cutting that I took off over there I planted it was a small cutting two years ago and I planted it in this pot with uh, a lot of it's a much larger pot um, more potting soil and it's grown really vigorously and if you look at the trunk you can see it's green the colors it's green it, it hasn't hardened off so but the tree is pretty much the same height as the as the parent tree you'll notice on the parent tree that the leaves are much smaller so it's it's much more dwarfed than this one it's from the same plant just these leaves are much larger because it's it's growing it's got more space to grow so that's the significance of planting something in a small pot and pruning it often so when i defoliate this tree which i'll do in late spring i'll defoliate this and uh, change the soil, repot it, put it in a, in a bonsai pot and it'll then start its journey to look more like this. If you look, compare this trunk to the, to the cutting trunk, you can see that this trunk has hardened off. There's nice brown, hard, harder wood. You can, you can see some character developing, some flaking on the trunk there. And it's a really nice nice little nice little tree if you want to start out with bonsai I suggest you start out with this sort of plant you gotta really try hard to kill it to not make it work if you <laughs> if you end up killing it um, just yeah just try again um, try and get one established well in a pot and they grow really well and they do do well in a nice aerated soil free draining soil when you when you water this plant the the, the water should seep through immediately and if you forget to water it in summer for four five six seven days even longer than that two three weeks it's not the end of the world uh, the, the leaves usually just shrivel up that they show that they dehydrated a little bit as soon as you start giving it water they replenish and they start growing well again so I'm not gonna defoliate this tree I just wanted to record it and show it and I'll just do some tip pruning to try and develop more ramification 
and it's not really the right time for it to work for me to work on this tree now but um, I just want to do minor cleaning up and um, minor minor pruning the other species is this jade it's a portulacaria afra it's native to my country South Africa and this if you want to start out with bonsai this is the other other tree that you need to get because this is indestructible this thing uh, this this tree is 12 years old grown from a cutting 12 years ago and I've just played around with it shaped it over the years and I just wanted to show that this variety as well as this variety is the perfect bonsai varieties to start out with for people that um, are interested in bonsai and want to begin with. They're fairly fast growing and they're easy when you prune and you make mistakes they they quickly bud back and shoot new growth new branches and within a year's time you you back in the game again if you make mistakes so they're really forgiving uh, really really awesome variety for bonsai so I'm seeing on this tree there's old old leaves I'll just take some of the old leaves out the old bigger leaves for now and smaller ones if they're old I'm looking and I'm thinking uh, I see a lot of new growth on the on the tips it's nice new leaves developing and to be honest I don't think I don't think I'm going to do too much to it other than what I've just done to it. I didn't do anything. Like I said, I, I basically just wanted to show this tree recorded, get it on record. And um, there's springs on its way, summer, then, then I'll do some heavier pruning. Uh, I'm thinking of bringing the total height back of this tree. This branch in the center is quite long and leggy. And I think I might take it down to there where the tip of the scissor is and then hope for for a split in the branches there. Maybe even even there I'll take that up to that node. So I'll take take this this off over there and hope for some budding here. One branch, two branch. Get some earlier ramification there. Also this this tree, I haven't given all the attention to it over the years like I should have. Um, there was times that I just watered them and kept them alive for about two years. So that's probably something I should have done earlier in this tree's life was give it a prune there and create uh, ramification. Um, as well as this branch, I might prune it over here and hope for ramification over there. As with this branch like this one they have got got a nice uh, split into two um, come uh, late spring or summer I'll prune this this tree and I'll prune these branches back to round about there these two they won't be much left probably defoliate the the whole thing and I'm um, hoping for some more branches there and ultimately I won't you know make the tree higher than than about that point over there so i'll try and get as much ramification as i can to just above that point and um, so 
So yes, yeah, so I'm thinking, I wonder what it would look like if I had to remove the center branch completely. It would probably look a little bit strange. It's, um, it's coming out in an in a awkward, you know, in the, right in the crotch there. If it was sitting in the back over there, coming out, that would have been nice. I don't know, maybe I should remove this completely. Uh -huh. Yep. The thing is, the problem here with this tree, like I said, I haven't shaped it like I should have given it the tension. So if I take this and I leave that as a front, it's going to be a very 2D, 2D tree. This adds a, like a third dimension to it. Um, you know, because this, I haven't really decided on what the front of this tree would be. That could probably be a good front, um, front view. When in doubt, when in doubt, when in doubt, cut it out. I'm going to take that branch. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing it. And I think that's, that's a good thing to record these trees and look at them the way that I'm looking at it now. Um, this is, you know, this tree was really good looking and pretty to me, the way it was. And now the more I looked at it, I realize that this branch might have to go. And I'm not a big fan of wiring these these trees, these branches. They they you can wire them. They don't really respond all that well always. When when you start bending them, you just can snap them off, injure them, and they they don't really grow as well as what they should or could have. I'm taking this knob cutter. It's really soft wood. Um, I don't think I'm going to take the knob cutter. Sorry for that. Just going to take my normal shears. I'm going to go in tight. Sort of cut in. There's a succulent, so it's nice and soft. Squeeze it in, cut it, and I'm going to snap that guy off. <laughs> Done. No turning back. No turning back from that. So there is the tree now, and that I would call that a front, a front view. I think that looks that looks funky. Then, like I said, summer, spring come. I'm gonna cut this one back to here, get some ramification there. Forget what I said about this branch regarding ramification. Because that's, that's in the past, that's history. This, this will become a new, a new bonsai in the future. So, cut there, around about there, hope for ramification. Cut this guy around about here, hope for ramification. These two, I'll try and get another two branches. One, two, one, two, and then finish off the canopy. I want to keep this small in this spot for as long as I can. Do this guy a little bit back further, maybe over there, and hope for a split one, two, and then another one, two, one, two, another four branches. And then I think this guy would be complete. So there I did that cut. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I think I think it was the right thing to do. And that's what I'm left with, and that's what I'm gonna gonna stick with for now. And I'll do an update on this tree in the next two, three months. Three months, I'll do an update. I'll do its pruning, its defoliation, 
and then after summer um, around January maybe middle in February I'll do another update on it with its regrowth uh, what it will look like if we've gotten that ramification that that we were were after so Gollum Jade Crutchlo Avata variety Shrek's ears kind of does look like Shrek's ears and this is it's not a very common a common tree or common plant this so every cutting that I get every chance that I get like this I will try and propagate so in this pot I've got a lot of space with this cutting over here and I'm just going to grab some sort of a tool make a hole in the corner here and I'll just go about two and a half centimeters or an inch deep stick it in the ground in the, in the soil got a really nice coarse free draining bonsai soil in the spot and there that guy goes nothing more needed the chances of this guy not rooting in this spot is probably around about zero so this will definitely grow and um, and in another two years time it will look like this this is where this guy started and just if I put the two next to each other like I said this this is a cutting of this is the mother plant this is the cutting Look at how big these branches are because it's never, it's just left to grow then and on its own devices, never been defoliated, never been shaped or anything like that. This guy has been defoliated, shaped and look at the dwarf, the dwarf leaves that you're getting on it and obviously in a small little bonsai pot with a good quality bonsai soil. Thank you for watching. I'm really excited to do updates on these trees. I've uh, gotten fond of fond of this variety. I just can't even remember where I got this. I was visiting people that had it in their garden and I just ripped the piece off, propagated it, and this is what I've got seven years later. And um, I'm, I'm slowly but surely falling more in love with the way they grow and the way they they lend themselves to bonsai and um, really really nice variety to grow so thanks for watching again cheers <laughs>